the Motorhome Channel. Sponsored by Adrian Flux Insurance. Welcome to the Motorhome Channel, the show that's all about buying, owning and getting the most out of your motor caravan. I'm Niall Hampton and this summer we're bringing you some special episodes which we've imaginatively titled our Summer Specials. Each show will have a unique theme. We'll look at some new vans, cast an eye back at some recent reviews, give you some inspirational touring tips and some friendly expert advice from our archives. The theme is the magical allure of the camper van. So with that in mind, here's a taste of what's coming up on tonight's episode. I get up close and personal with an extremely versatile offering from Auto Campers. Then take a look at what for many people is the daddy of all camper vans, the Volkswagen California. We'll also check out some campers on different base vehicles from the Hillside Ellerstone and Wellhouse Terrier. And finally, we couldn't have a show dedicated to camper vans without considering the enduring appeal of the vintage VW T2 camper. We visit a leading firm of restorers to find out what's involved in keeping these classics on the roads. Auto Campers Day Van, an exciting and very flexible new conversion from Auto Campers, which is a subsidiary of Roywood Transits. Based in Berkshire, this company has a very long association with the Ford Transit, so little surprise they chose this particular base vehicle as the basis for their latest conversion. Now, this is one good looking base vehicle. These silver sides are very engaging, they go very well with the alloys. There's a running board down there. And what's particularly useful is the sliding doors on both sides of the vehicle, which means that you can use it on both sides wherever you're touring in the UK or in the continent. Now the day van is definitely marketed at leisure-minded motor caravanners, people that enjoy the great outdoors. Witness this bike rack on the back here, fitted as an optional extra, but it's reasonably inexpensive, only a few hundred pounds. Perfect for people that want to use their van as a leisure support vehicle for outdoor activities. Another interesting thing fitted on the back here are reversing sensors and I particularly like these because in any kind of vehicle where you can't see too much in the rearward direction and it's hard to judge exactly where you are, reversing sensors are a great boon. And the benefit of this being a Ford Transit Custom is that these kind of options are really inexpensive. The side has a pleasing look too. I like the way that things are colour coded from the door handles and the little stripes at the bottom of the doors. Nice attention to detail there. Moving round to the front, I'm sure you'll agree, it really is a looker. Everything, again, colour coded, some nice black detailing, which also conceals the parking sensors at the front. Now, these are very useful, whether you're using it for load lugging, supermarket shopping, on the ferry, whatever else. It just means that you have another early warning system to try to help keep your van free of any scratches and dings. Now, the day van comes in three flavours, low line, high line and pop top. Pop top is where they cut off the roof and put an elevating roof section in, which greatly increases the standing height available inside the vehicle and also provides two extra sleeping spaces up there. And thanks to the magic of television, this is exactly how it looks. So once you've adjusted your standing height, the next thing is to make the van into a sociable lounge area, and that is very easy. You just jump out into the front seats, release a little catch down here, And in a matter of seconds, you have a fully functioning and very sociable lounge. All you need to do is add the table. So the table is pretty easy to put in place. And also it's fairly easy to remove these seats as well, if that's what you really want to do to increase the space inside the van. It's a three-step operation. This one comes down here, this one down here, and then with a little hook here and a bit of leverage, out it comes. Everything from the seats to the wardrobe unit to the kitchen unit can be removed from the van. So you can completely reorientate how you use the inside. For example, you could have two seats in a line here so that you could put bulky items like bikes down the middle. You could also remove 
the storage unit at the back there to reorientate the beds. So instead of having a longitudinal setup here, you can have a transverse one across the width of the van. How clever is that? And talking of clever, just check out this kitchen unit, this compressor fridge, which to save space is actually a drawer unit. Very smart indeed. Above that is another slide out configuration in the shape of a stove. And under that stove is the cutlery drawer. More great use of space. Moving slightly along, we have a square sink unit with a collapsible tap. Underneath that, your water supply, and at the bottom, very considerately, a porta potty. And just in case you want to come outside, should the weather be good enough, you can bring the whole kitchen outside the vehicle. And there's one feature we haven't even mentioned yet, and that's a wind out canopy awning, presumably designed for Mediterranean summers, although quite useful when it's raining in Britain. The Auto Camper's day van is an extremely versatile vehicle. We particularly like the removable seats and furniture, which means that you're not tied down to one layout. You can basically grow with the vehicle and the needs you need. Few things cheer the soul more than the sight of a VW California. If you want to make friends on the festival field or on the campsite, get yourself one of these. OK, it may not have the appeal of the old school version that conjures up all the images of the Beach Boys and Surfing USA, but let's face it, in this day and age, who wants a gearbox that feels like they're stirring porridge and that on the drive to Cornwall and back they've had an unwanted upper body workout? No, what you really want to get is one of these babies. VW has produced its own California since 2003, taking over from a partnership with Westphalia that began in 1988. Now you have to buy one of these from a VW commercial center, so don't go bothering your local motorhome dealer. In fact, these are much more than just a van conversion. We've seen them being built at the factory in Wolfsburg, and believe it or not, the whole kitchen section is craned in on an electric arm. It's an amazing mixture of traditional crafts and modern up-to-the-minute technology. The result is a vehicle that Volkswagen is happy to put its name to, and bearing in mind the Mark's reputation for quality, that's really saying something. You won't find any tatty edges or poor finishing in this van. Take this sliding door, for example, a 309 pound option. It opens automatically, so if you haven't quite got the strength to be fighting with a sliding door, then this is a great solution for you. One thing to bear in mind, though, that this door is on the UK offside, so if you're using it and parking up, then you're gonna be disgorging your passengers into the traffic, something to bear in mind. Now, it certainly doesn't feel like a commercial vehicle in here. Check out the three-spoke steering wheel and all this fantastic visual grammar from a VW car that's very familiar in here. Our test van has some extra goodies installed, including sat-nav, DAB radio, and plenty of other little bits and bobs to excite the soul. It also has the DSG gearbox, which in automatic mode is so good you can't even hear the engine change gear. Fit and finish is exemplary as you'd expect. Ride quality is superb and when you're driving along you can't really feel anything rattling or hear any sort of unwanted noises. It's all beautifully put together with fantastic fit and finish. The California has the classic VW camper layout. This rear seat bench moves backwards and forwards so you can adjust the load area if you're carrying luggage or bulky items or you've just got a couple of people in the back. The flexibility is there and the choice is yours. There's also a side kitchenette. So here we have two gas rings and a sink, and next to it, a top-loading compressor fridge, so you can keep a few things while you're out on the road. There's storage underneath, but what I particularly like most of all is this fantastic tabletop. It slides forward into the area. It has a leg on it too. You just put it down, clip the bottom, snap on the floor. Hey presto. Now, this van actually sleeps four people. Let's have a look at how the lower bunks work. It's quite simple. You just find yourself sitting in the back. You want to get your head down. It's a very easy operation. You just pull up on this catch here. Move the seat bents forwards. Turn round. Pull up on this tape. Push everything flat. Pull the cushions. And here we go. Now, have I done enough to get my head down for a few minutes? Now the roof bed, fortunately, is fully automated, unlike the process we've just been through. You just turn on the control panel, wait for the option for the pop-up roof bed to come, and then you just press that, and up it goes. Now the VW California does offer the best of both worlds, car-like drive during the day and practical sleeping accommodation in the evening. Some minor criticism of our test team say that the bed at the back is a little bit too firm and that the roof bed option is probably at best only suitable for children but that's to miss the point slightly. This is a super adaptable, flexible vehicle, 
And with all the bells and whistles as specified to this test van, the price will come in just under £50,000. Now that may seem lots of money, but don't forget you get that fantastic VW build quality. It comes from the Wolfsburg factory made by VW and it's absolutely top draw in every sense. There are many other VW conversions available from other converters that won't cost you as much money, but for some people only the VW California will do. And if you're lucky enough to be in that group, then you will not be disappointed. Not every camper van has to be converted on a VW T5. Many converters offer a choice of different base vehicles, including Hillside Leisure in Derby, who do convert on the T5, but also offer other options like the Renault Traffic behind us. This is the base vehicle for the Hillside Elliston, but what's interesting for this year is that the Traffic is brand new. Brand new in the sense that the Traffic has been reimagined for 2014. There must be something in the water with the other manufacturers doing it as well. Think of Fiat and Peugeot with their base vehicles but it does confer certain base benefits on buyers. You get the very latest in technology, engine performance and fuel economy, plus the addition of bells and whistles that most modern drivers just won't accept any compromises on. I'm talking about the provision of USB in the dashboard and Bluetooth in the stereo, just two things that make long drives so much more pleasant these days. The Ellerstone follows the classic camper configuration of rock and roll bed and kitchen on the offside. Now these seats are very comfortable indeed and I'm told they make into a bed that's equally good. Now let's see how easy that process really is. We just pull up on a lever here and the seat bench comes down. Pull up on here, oh, down it goes. And there we are, a matter of seconds we have a bed fully deployed and to get it back is just the same process but in reverse. Now another double bed is available in the roof section, making the Elliston a four berth. To access this, you just pull down from up above and down it comes. There are Frody springs, so there's a really good distribution of weight, which will make for a very restful night's sleep. Back at ground level, I'm genuinely impressed by the catering facilities available in the Elliston. We have a very pleasing seating position here with great views out from the side and the front, obviously. And then if you pull this little cupboard over, it gives you some very good storage space and the grill. Under the grill, a compressor fridge and on the worktop here, two gas burners and a decent sink. OK, you're not going to be doing a Sunday roast in here, but for many other applications, it's more than you need. Storage space is pretty generous too. There are kitchen cupboards, an ingenious place to put the cutlery drawer here on the worktop, and there's even a small wardrobe. And obviously behind the rock and roll bed, you can store some luggage items there, which makes this vehicle great if you're doing a bit of load lugging as well as camping. A couple of other features of interest are diesel heating and a porta potty if you're really thinking about going off grid. It's great to see a conversion on something other than a VW T5 because it means that there's genuine choice in the market. But what's really eye-catching about the hillside Elliston is the price. It's about £33,000 which for a conversion of this design, fit, finish and build quality, I think is cracking value for money. Now who was it that said all camper vans look the same? As we've just seen, they clearly don't. We're going to take a short break right now, but we're going to have another cracking camper when we come back. Adrian Flux Insurance, proud sponsors of the Motorhome Channel, 